Um, I'm from Long Beach, California. It's kind of different from New Jersey, you know, a little bit warmer, a lot, a lot better temperature, very favorable weather. I loved it. I definitely want to go back for the rest of my life. A lot of friends and stuff at home and family and everybody, so it's kind of just the place where I belong. I started playing basketball very early in my life, but I do love science. It started also very early. My dad is an electrical engineer for LA Unified School District, and uh, his sister has a master's in electrical engineering herself. So I kind of just think it's genetic at this point. Uh, I've always played with little toys when I was a kid, taking stuff apart, putting stuff back together, just you know, figuring out how things worked. Growing up, having to balance basketball and school was always a challenge. If I didn't have good grades, you know, I wasn't going to see the court, so that kind of driven me to be the best academic person possible. He always took pride in his grades. That was number one priority. He wanted to make sure he had the grades. And basketball, he's just got, he has God-given talents, and I tell him that all the time. My very first offer was Yale University. I remember I was super excited. They're in Ivy League. I was like, oh yeah, look at all the smart schools are already noticing me early. This is great. I made it very well known that like, if I'm going to your school, I want to go for engineering. You know, I'm not just going there just be a basketball player and major in some random degree. More and more schools picked up, but in high school, I did suffer an injury my junior year. And I was out for my junior year. I broke my patella. A lot of the bigger name schools, you know, trying to straight away, you start worrying like, oh, he's injury prone that early. Rutgers contacted me my senior year, post-injury, and they knew who they were pitching to. They were like, yeah, you, we know you want to do engineering. We have a top 50 engineering school. When he first came here on the visit, I wanted him, obviously, to meet with the School of Engineering people. What I later found out, I was not you know, at the meeting, but he's fluent in Japanese, and uh, so was our dean. You know? So they ended up, uh, a lot of you know, the question and answers and back and forth was, was in Japanese. After the first day was over, he said, Dad, this is where I want to be. And I was like, oh, OK. I said, well, Miles, we haven't even done the second day. You haven't learned nothing about the basketball program yet. And he said, Dad, this is where I want to be. I said, sometimes timing and sometimes fate brought him from the West Coast to us. And certainly was very thankful that you know our dean spoke Japanese, too, that day. So. It was a great day for us. It certainly was a great day for our engineering program. What feed to Miles Johnson for the two-hand flush. You look at him, he's seven feet tall, he's huge. He's just, he doesn't look human sometimes, but he's more than a basketball player. I always say to my son, who's 14 years old, that's the model, be like Miles. He's the true definition of student athlete. Busy all the time. His calendar is the most booked calendar that I've ever seen from morning to night. Booked in with community service events to engineering projects. And then in the meantime, he's got to watch film, he's got to lift weights, he's got to do all the things that it takes to be, you know, a really good Division I basketball player too. So he's really organized and he's really amazing at the amount of things that he's able to accomplish during the course of a day. Being an athlete and a student has been a juggling act, and it's not an easy one at that. It's like juggling chainsaws and swords and flaming <laughs> flamethrowers and stuff, so it's very difficult. I'm fortunate that Coach Michael and the staff, you know, they're very understanding, and they kind of model their practice schedule and everything off of my schedule because it's like the one schedule that's unpredictable. You know, he loves engineering, but he loves to give back. He has started his own foundation, uh, a STEM foundation. Black Dev is the title of it. It was short for Black Development. And basically, the whole emphasis of my program is to get more black people into STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Basically, that category of electives and degrees and jobs and stuff like that because there isn't many of us in engineering. I, I see it every single day, you know, going to school. And if you look around, it's kind of just me or one other person. I want to see more people do it, and I want to see more young kids get involved into engineering. I think it's amazing. It's just giving more opportunities. It's just helping people connect. That's something that we need today. 
He's doing so many different things, you know, excelling both on the court and off the court. That's just another reason why I respect him so much.